All right, we're starting up the Instagram Live here. We're going to see uh, what happens with this. This will be the first time I've attempted this, and I'm not sure if my rig will support it, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to let Ray uh, hop in here real quick, and hopefully once he's in, then we can start it up. There is R.C. Robinson art. Uh, okay, so Ray, do you have a button that says, aha, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. All right, waiting to connect here and we'll see how this looks. I see Steve, I see Marcus also in the room. Thanks for uh, tuning in today. I don't, know, we're, I don't know what to expect from this. We, um, this is gonna be the first time we've attempted something like this. Ah, okay. There's Ray. All right, we got the split screen going on. Sweet. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Have you got... Oh, I just froze. Oh, oh, you're back. There's going to be a heck of a learning curve here. There is. <laughs> so I've got my camera positioned over my drawing. Um, aha, yep. there's yours. Okay. That works. And I, uh, do you want to go ahead and try the uh, random word to decide what we do? You want to try it? Go for it. All right. <laughs> I have it set to adjectives. That's uh, Inktober friendly, right? Oh, no. All right. Well, I'm going to veto that one. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Huh. All right. Um, I have another idea. Yes. <laughs> so if you would put your sketch pad back in position. <laughs> now, which way is your camera facing? Like if you go to start drawing, is it, which way is it oriented? Okay. I keep getting an occasional freeze on my end too. I don't know if you're getting that, but. Hello? All right, you there? There you are. Okay, and mine keeps yeah. freezing every once in a while. Is yours doing that too? All right. So before we freeze again, here's here's my thought, and this is some crazy thing that I don't know if it's going to work or not. Now, on your screen, are you the bottom frame like you are on mine, or how does it look on your Yeah, screen? Yeah, I'm on the bottom. So on top of your bottom? Okay. What I'm thinking is, what if, let's say, for instance... I were to start drawing the top half of someone's head, and I'm doing this while I'm looking at my phone, so that's why it's kind of slop, floppy. And what if you were to do the bottom half, and we tried to work on the same type of drawing in a weird way that connects? Does that make sense? We could try. Nah, I don't know. It's all an experiment. <laughs> if you want to, we can try that. Let's see here. See, I'm trying to uh, pull up this video while, yeah, there we go. Oh, you're pulling it up on your computer? Yeah, so I can see what's going on. I'm going to actually turn mine over huh. and go again. So if... Interesting. There we go. So almost like if I were to start the top half like this, mm -hmm. and if you were to match it up with your frame and draw the bottom half, Okay, I'm going to get a little just, closer. Just, just for giggles. I got no idea what this is going to look like, but but I was wondering, but that way we're not both drawing completely disjointed things that might be a little disorienting for the viewer. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. I think I'm lined up. This could be a total dead, everybody who's watching. So uh, just, <laughs> just, you know, bear with us. We're having fun. Let's see, I'm going to get my charger cord out of the way. It's tricky because there's a, uh, there's a lag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Once we get the seams lined up, then I think we can, it might be a little easier for us to get into a groove, maybe. Hmm. 
I don't know. This is going to look really strange probably, but ultimately, you know, we're, I, I think I thought starting with a face might be um, just kind of a simpler way to test this experiment because ultimately what we could do is I could draw the top half of a scene and you can draw the bottom half, you know, whether it's yeah. Batman leaping into the fray or, or, you know, villains on the bottom half, who knows? There's a, I think there's some opportunity here down the road. I don't know if this has been done. Maybe, maybe not, but um I got to I got to extend my head up a little bit otherwise all I'm doing is forehead. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what character I'm well actually no let's just do Batman. We'll make it easy on ourselves for this first time out. <laughs> How's everything else going in your neck of the woods? Oh, it's good. I think we're like everybody else we're doing uh, a constant stream of uh home improvement projects while we're under quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see this working. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out. <laughs> Just a goofy little uh, Instagram live thing because I've never done Instagram live. Uh, plus, I've never shared my screen with someone on Instagram live so we'll see uh we'll see how this meshes together oops hey <laughs> uh oh that didn't sound good <laughs> Oops, huh? So what uh, what type of home improvement uh, projects do you have going on right now? Let's see. We are converting what was our playroom for the kids into a uh, spare bedroom. But uh, in order to do that, we had to find a home for all the playroom stuff. So we're converting our garage into that. Oh, I saw the picture of that. That looked really good. That nice. looked cool. You're you're making it tough on me though because um, Michelle keeps wanting me to do things with the garage, and I haven't really done anything yet. So. <laughs> well, it's hard in Florida, so the first thing we had to do was insulate the uh, garage door because it's just too hot in there. Yeah. So I got some styrofoam sheets and did that, and uh, put an air conditioner in the window for now, but we're gonna get a better one to install uh, a ductless one going European style. Nice. Well, good deal. Everything turns out good on that front. Yeah. Since it serves a double purpose, I get to uh, put my comic collection in a climate controlled space. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the garage. That? In, the oh, garage. in the garage. So add in the uh, AC it's a dual purpose. <laughs> nice. So, of course, this would have been uh, free comic book day. Unfortunately, that is not the case. But they, I guess it's going to be rescheduled for later in the summer, I heard. Or I read. Well, that'll be cool. Yeah. I'm still wondering if uh, Megacon is going to happen this year. They still have it scheduled for June, but yeah, I saw I that. that's pretty soon. I don't know. Yeah. Even if it does happen, I'm not sure I would make it at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I like MegaCon and everything, but I just don't know if uh don't know if I got it in me to be at a show these days. Although I will say I was getting pretty excited by their artist lineup. Yeah, they uh, they really outdid themselves. I know some of those people though you'd never get to see because you'd have to wait in line and pay the hundred dollars or whatever to <laughs> see them. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't mind waiting in the lines. Like I typically when I go to MegaCon, I'm usually only going for the artists. And so I've usually had pretty good luck making it through different places, wherever they are. Now, granted, sometimes, you know, you, you never know which ones are going to be free autographs versus 
a couple of free then charge versus all charge versus whatever. So, um, but it's, I will say I've been pretty happy with what I've been able to get at the past few events. Yeah. I've, uh, actually since quarantine started, I've been browsing eBay kind of constantly for art. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> And I found a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. You know what I got really excited about? Um, mm. um, Jim Lee was is doing the uh, charity auctions, you know? Oh, yeah, the 60 and 60 thing. Yeah, I tell you what. Okay, here, here's – I'm going <laughs> to probably sound like a real idiot. When he was announcing that he was doing that, like the the last couple of days prior to it starting, I had a conversation with Michelle, and I said, listen, I said, if – if any of these drawings are within striking distance of my budget, I, said, <laughs> I really want to add an original piece to the collection. Mm. And she kind of, you know, she kind of looked at me like I was crazy. And as, as you are, my, it's, uh... <laughs> yeah. Now, now my budget that I had in mind was significantly less than what then, these things have started going for right out of the gate. I'm then like, ten thousand dollars, yeah. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, these things are crazy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, good good for him that he's raising money for a good cause and everything. But yeah, he uh, like oh well. He also does one every once in a while for his uh, kids' school um, fundraisers. I saw and... him added one for that. It, like within the last couple of days, he had a Batman or something that he put up for that one. Yeah, so those are a little cheaper. <laughs> nah, it was it was still uh, it was still. Uh, benefiting from the other auctions he has going on because uh, uh, and then you know he keeps adding other people to the mix like um, again Art Adams added something added a couple actually to the auction and uh, like I think Doug Mankin's got one up there right now a whole bunch of people. yeah that was the Lobo one that was really that was cool yeah they're, uh, they're putting a lot of effort into it they're not just doing like a con sketch <laughs> so right. Good, good stuff. Yeah, I've seen a lot of artists. They've um, obviously that one they have time, and two they're trying to uh, um, support them, themselves and their families as well. Doing a lot of like commission list openings and um, different things like that. So, so what kind of art, who are you looking up when you do searches on eBay and stuff? Like, who are you looking for? Let's see. I've, um, I've been searching by, uh, like, preliminary art. Yeah. Because there's a lot of that stuff up there that's really pretty detailed. I mean, way more than I would do for a preliminary <laughs> sketch. Um, and it's affordable for some reason. Like, I, a couple of years ago, got Adam Hughes to do a sketch for 40, 40 bucks, I think it was. Really? And, um, but it was, it took him two minutes and it was, <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was just a really quick, uh, you know, Sharpie sketch. Um, and these preliminary drawings are way better than that. And, you know, about the same price. So I, um, let's see, what have I gotten lately? I, well, I did get a sketch uh, from Charlie Adlard, oh, yeah. Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah. That was a really, really cool zombie one. That one was a little pricey, but it was cool. <laughs> and uh, Yannick Paquette, who uh, relaunched, uh, was the artist on Swamp Thing when the U52 oh, yeah. launched. I got his autograph in a couple of books, I think, last year or the year before or something. I think he was at Megacon. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, you're using solid black, right? Uh, yeah, for now I am, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I might add in a little gray at some point, but I might, or maybe I'll just stick to cross hatching. I don't know. I'm making this stuff up as I go, man. That's cool. I just want to make sure we match. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised how well this is working so far because I wasn't I know, expecting it to. Interesting. This might be something worth trying more often. I don't know. It's kind of kind of weird, kind of wacky. <laughs> a 
we can uh you know we can level up as we go along too and add more complexity to our scenes yeah I'm going to, I have to turn my paper, so it's not going to be lined up on the screen the whole time. But. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. I'll allow it. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll, we'll meet up in the middle. <laughs> well, and I think that's, that's the, the good thing about matching the seams up at the beginning, at least, is you sort of know what boundaries to work in so that you can match them up. Yeah. Then we can come back and uh, figure out exactly where they meet up. Yeah. We'll meet in the middle. <laughs> so what's the rest of the family up to? Uh, see, we, uh, <laughs> everybody's going stir crazy. So we ordered a, uh, a pool, sort of a, it's an above ground pool, but not like a full blown one. It's just a 12 foot, 30 inch deep thing. Yeah. And uh, they're out back trying to level off a little pad for it. We ordered some pavers and. Yeah. Yeah, so they're outside playing in the dirt. <laughs> Good luck. We, I mean, it, it shouldn't be a difficult thing, but I tell you what, whenever I have to level the backyard for anything, like I just had to do it last weekend for that raised bed, and we had to do it for a pool at one point, too. I have the biggest problem <laughs> trying to level off spots. I don't know what it is. It's probably not like a super difficult thing. It's just I make things difficult. <laughs> well, we had one uh, one of these pools last year, and they, they stress in the instructions how uh, it's important that they're level. And we thought the ground was level, but it turned out it was important. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out, A, it was important, and B, it was not level. It was not level, yeah. <laughs> If anyone happens to be watching this uh, live experiment unfold before your eyes, this is just something that we thought we would try out uh, for free. You know, it would have been free comic book day. Uh, of course, free comic book day has to go be put on hold like so many things right now, but uh, it's been postponed, I believe till later in the summer is what they said on the website. And, um, but you know what, still a good chance to have some, fun drawing and trying out some different uh different things online and it, and it gives ray an excuse to get back on instagram right yeah <laughs> i uh i logged in for the first time in i don't know how many years and uh <laughs> discovered i'd only ever had one post i saw <laughs> that when, when, when you followed me yesterday or the day before <laughs> your post was like from 2013 or something <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I never got into Instagram. Well, I appreciate you uh, giving it a whirl for this. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, I wanted to start doing some videos. I don't know why. It just hit me all of a sudden when I was doing that uh, six pop culture icon thing. Yeah. Last week. Like, this is fun. The kids like to watch me draw. and I should, I should do something. That's cool. Did um did Jasper do ever do the one he was gonna do? Oh, he did. Yeah. Did he? Hey, you know what? Here. You got it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Let me see that. Oh, cool. He did a Pikachu. Did Pikachu. Captain America. Yeah. Hey, free comic book day. Nice. A Rapunzel. You'll never guess who requested that one. <laughs> I think I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Deku from uh, My Hero Academia. Nice. Ariel. And a zombie. Cool. It seems to be on fire. <laughs> as long as the brain melts, then you're good. If not, <laughs> that won't stop them. <laughs> well, very cool. I'm glad he. Uh, I'm glad he did something along that lines. That, that's uh, that's nice. <laughs> I remember that book he did when we were up there last time that he was showing me. That was really cool. Yeah, he's gonna do things one day. <laughs> Nice. Okay, I think I'm about to break into a 
a uh, tighter brush or pen. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's see if I can line it up here. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Batman. <laughs> that was. It's not too bad. No, no, it's pretty cool. You know, and that was one of my. I think one of my favorite things I had seen during October last year. Was it last year? When you did the um, the group of nanas and then the Adam West Batman at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Uh -oh. Hmm. Sharpie is purple. Purple. <laughs> hey. Yeah. I got a flare. <laughs> I got a Sharpie extreme thinking it was gonna be super dark and it's uh yeah, it's purple. Just like all the other I sharpies. used a um, I used a like a cool gray uh, some kind of gray marker this morning in my other live stream, and uh, didn't quite realize that it was going to end up with like a purplish tint on what I was doing because <laughs> the way because of the way it mixed with the color you know I, I should yeah. know my colors but sometimes I don't and um, yeah I was like ah <laughs> but oh well. Oh, I just realized I can't even see. Yeah, I'm working down here. <laughs> oh, cool. I have not. <laughs> it looks like he got smushed. <sighs> like Clayface just bopping on the head or something. We're, 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 as, as Michelle would probably say, we're a couple of dorks. <laughs> well, yeah. No, there's really no. Denying. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> we'll see if I, I'm not sure if I, I haven't checked my bends to see which ones still have ink. I went through a whole bunch of them in this morning stream that were like duds. And I'm like, man, I must look like the world's biggest idiot. I don't even know what pens are what anymore. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe I'll just stick with the brush pen. That's not so bad. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I gotta find something else here. So what's the biggest thing you're looking forward to most when quarantine ends? <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. The kids going back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you guys aren't going to like be like homeschool converts? <laughs> I am totally okay with somebody who knows what they're doing teaching the kids. Is it going to mess you up if I switch to some grayscale markers for the background? No, I have some of those. Okay, nice. Go for it. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Mm -hmm. I gotta have a gotta have a smaller pen. I hope I hope Tiffany's not feeling left out. Nah, she's happy. Okay. <laughs> she does want to participate, but uh Yeah. Okay if she sits this one out. <laughs> so there was a um you know, I was talking earlier about all these artists that are doing deals and things, uh, or not some of them are more so deals than others, but um, um, I noticed uh, about a week or so ago on uh, Sakai's store, he, mm, was doing, sure. he was doing these special, if you, anything you bought from his store, he would like sign and put like a little remark on it and stuff. Oh, nice. So I, I was, I caught it on the last day he was doing it. So I, I managed to get a, um, like a, a Usagi Ojimbo uh, sketch cover that he had huh. there. Oh, that's cool. 
I haven't received it yet, but uh, I'm excited. I want to see that one. Because some of these, um, some of these commission prices and things are a little, you know, I, I want to, I'd love to add some of that to my collection, but some of the prices are a little extreme right now. Yeah. At least extreme based on my budget, maybe not for others, but. I think the most I've spent has been about a hundred dollars. Oh yeah. 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 I, I can, I can see that. That's, I can see it maybe a couple hundred depending on what you're getting for it, but aside yeah, but from that. I found plenty for a lot less than that, though. Yeah, okay. I got some uh, preliminary drawings from uh, Carlos Pacheco um, that haven't arrived yet because they're coming from Spain. Um, so that's really delayed. But uh, they were only like 15, 20 bucks. Really? Yeah. And what is that you're looking up for those preliminary drawings? Yeah. I'll start doing that. That's pretty cool. Oh, thanks, Marcus. I see Marcus is... Uh, hopped in here and taking a quick peek. This is all experimental. But I gotta say, even for our first time out doing this as an experiment, I'm kind of I'm kind of having fun with it. It's a yeah. weird weird little uh, <laughs> thing. Oh, look, I just found a marker that doesn't have any pigment left in it. <laughs> I really should organize these things. But I'm going to put it right back where I got it. I haven't touched my real art supplies since October, so it's all a surprise. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Oh, uh, it's never got a chance. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe we'll have to make this like a recurring thing. So you have uh, A, an excuse to get back into Instagram, and B, an excuse to use your art supplies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> hmm. If I use my gray markers within the cowl, what do you think? Go for it. Okay. I will uh, I will follow mm. suit. I got addicted to the gray gray markers on the gray paper with white highlights last yeah. October. Yeah, I like that look a lot. I haven't done that yet, but I've seen a lot of other people do it with like different colored papers and things. And it just, mm -hmm. it, it's got like a really classy look to it for some reason. It's just, yeah. I dig it. I haven't done it, but I dig it. And you can do lots of effects with uh, yeah, both white and black um, splattering and stuff like that. Yeah. There will come a point in every drawing where I screw it up. Thankfully, my screw up is currently off camera. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see. Let's see what you got going on shading wise inside the frame here. Let's see nice. If I can line it up. That looks cool, man. Thank you. One of us is going to have to Photoshop this together at the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just do a screenshot of uh, Instagram Live, and there you go. That's it. <laughs> it's, it's like the uh, hidden uh, maps that lead to treasure or whatever. It's like you got to find pieces and match them up.
Oh, happy accidents. Yep. <laughs> There's no such thing as a mistake, right? No, not at all. What was your happy accident? <laughs> oh, I'm just really loose with the brush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of happy accidents this morning when I was doing the uh, Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> So also thinking further down the road, if we continue this type of theme, we could also start drawing scenes and not tell the other person what we're each drawing. And then it really gets wackadoodles, you know, as it, as it meets up in the middle. <laughs> like, oh, I drew an elephant head. Oh, you drew a dragon body. What the heck? <laughs> Let's see. Time for a check here. Oh, you don't have to pay me for this. <laughs> you take money orders? <laughs> Venmo? <laughs> if you want the other half of your Batman, you better pay me. <laughs> oh, looks like I've got a bunch of... Uh... Oh, hold on. There's a lag. Got a bunch of cheek to uh, work on. <laughs> uh, you cheeky devil. Look at that. Hey, that lines up pretty good, though. Not bad. Okay. I will work on that cheek. Chris, why don't you just screw up the background some more? Can't screw up a background. <laughs> oh, I, I can. I can screw up anything. <laughs> I was trying to be all cutesy and add some abstract shapes back there, but it's uh, not quite working out. Hey, Chris, guy of mine, but... Uh... All right, we're just going to lean into it. We're going to keep going. Yeah. Switching off one of my lights to see if I can make the colors match up, make the blacks match up. Yeah, I've mostly got just window light right here, what I'm using. So not, not that it matters. Oof. I think it's closer. Scooters down. <laughs> Scooters down just a little bit. I wonder if I turn off the other lights, I'll get rid of all the yellow. So I was thinking I was going to need a lot more light in here than I do. But the uh, the iPhone does pretty good in low light. Yeah. 
Nice. Look at that. It's almost like, it's almost like we know what we're doing or something. <laughs> where, where, where are they going? Where are they guys going? What? <laughs> I'm trying to screw up my background. <laughs> it's officially screwed up. Gonna sort of fade his. Uh, well, you can't see it. Fade his uh, chest emblem into gray. So, what's that? Right. I said you smushed his face again. Yeah, totally, totally did. That's a good I'm, I'm gonna fade it out to gray so it'll sort of match the background. Look at you getting all fancy. Yeah. I'm literally just trying to draw whatever's in the Instagram frame. <laughs> I feel like I'm shouting too, so sorry. I can't tell if I am or not. I'm right next to the microphone. I yeah. probably Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I'm talking on my phone, like on speaker like this, I always feel like I'm shouting. Oh, I just bumped mine. Hmm. I used to have some Prismacolor markers, but they are gone. Yeah. Where'd they go? Yeah, after Inktober, the kids kind of participated in it with us. Yeah. And uh, they wanted to use the grown-up oh, slides. <laughs> if I match up. Line up. Very nice. <laughs> oh. But yeah, the kids wanted to use the uh, grown-up supplies, so they've been sneaking into them. <laughs> I know how that goes. Star Wars Day is right around the corner. Maybe we should do one for that day, too. Well, that would be cool. I don't think I've ever drawn a Star Wars character. So no? be a good, it would be a fun challenge. Unfortunately, it's also on a Monday, so. Uh. 
going back to the um, converse topic earlier, we were talking about about looking for artwork and trying to find deals and stuff. Mm -hmm. I um, I made the mistake of uh, joining like a, a group on Facebook about like original art and sketches and autographs and things for comics. Yeah, and I swear every every time I log in, I see the first thing in my feed is somebody showing off the sketches they've got from these artists and that artist, and I'm just Man, <laughs> pretty pretty jealous. I could go grab some and show you if you want. I mean, <laughs> actually, I wouldn't mind seeing yours. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, show and tell. Ah, oh, it looks good. Oh, except I have to color in the background. Ah. <laughs> All right, I got some drunk bats flying in the background, so. <laughs> Let's see if I have anything think in this marker. I got my water real quick. Hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, I'm back. What I miss? Hey, just uh, just add in some color, <laughs> some blackness. Nice. I didn't even think about that. I'm so busy trying to get the face to line up. Let's see if she lines up with it. Oh, hang on. <laughs> All right, back. Go for it. too shabby for a silly little Instagram game that we kind of came up with on the fly. <laughs> yeah. I could do more of these in the future. What about you? Definitely. Okay, there we go. Oh, my paper is too small. I'll have to crop it. <laughs> ah, well. That's all right. I have no idea what size you're working on. Mine's mine's like a eight by six sketchbook. Mine is a mine is an A four. Hmm. Uh, two hundred and ten, two hundred ninety-seven millimeters. This is a pad I bought when I was in China last year. I could tell, yeah. <laughs> Oh, really... We were uh, Jones and to draw some stuff. My dad and I were, and we we're like, well, let's go find some art art supplies at like a 
one of the malls. So when my brother took us to one of the malls one day, we found this quasi bookstore that had other, a lot of other stuff in it and they had art supplies and things. So huh. cool. Yeah. All right. Well, we lined up. Let me try uh, there. That's pretty close. There we go. Okay. I wonder if I can do a screenshot while this thing is live. I'll wait. Oh, till, I'll wait. I'll wait till the replay. Yeah. I don't screw it up. Oh wait, no. Hold on. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. That would help. I wonder if that's possible. More experimenting. Twenty first century. What if I zoom in? <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. <laughs> well, yeah. Now it's perfect. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there. Okay. Ah, <laughs> my computer screen's just catching up. So there you have it, folks. That's our first uh, Instagram Live collaborative piece. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I wonder if anybody will ever see this. I'm going to try to save it off, and uh, I'll, I'll probably add it to my YouTube channel with everything else that goes up there, too. And then it'll it'll stay on Instagram here for how long, like a day or two? or what, I don't know if live videos have the same shelf life as stories or anything, but uh, we'll, huh. try to, we'll try to archive it somehow. Yeah. Okay, I just added one final touch to the right side of his head to continue the white that you had going on. So I think the, the left side lines up really good. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Any final thoughts? Anything else uh, you think you want to try for the next one? I don't know. I'll give it some thought. All right. Yeah. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll debrief on this and think about what uh, what worked and what maybe can be improved for next time. And uh, although I think a lot of it actually works pretty well. Yeah. I do. I do like the um, the word the the word generator you had at the beginning. I just I was struggling with those words. <laughs> yeah, those words were not great. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much time so, they spend uh, coming up with them for Inktober. <laughs> well, we could always do. Um, we could each come up with like our own list of words and put them in like an Excel sheet and then just use a random number generator or something if we wanted to try to do that next time. Yeah. There's also the, uh, the weekly Inktober. I haven't done any of those. So there's yeah, some, I, think uh, I, I think I did one sort of, it was a sketch cover that I was doing that kind of related to the topic that week, but I haven't really been uh, active in that either. You know, it's funny because during all during October, I keep thinking to myself, man, this should really go beyond October. And then yeah. he, starts, he starts the weekly Inktober in January, and it's like, eh, I'll wait till October. <laughs> That's what I thought too. I, have, I just haven't had time. Just, I decided. Yeah. I decided about two or three weeks in, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm never going to catch up on this. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> and I don't know that you necessarily have to catch up. I mean, there's no. been some cool there's been some cool keywords and topics that I would have liked to have done, but I just I don't know, man. You know me. I just I, I find excuses. Yeah, <laughs> I've got, you know, it's, it's funny because even like that six fan arts challenge, um, I resisted it for a while because I, as much as I do enjoy fan art, I have so much of my own stuff that I want to work on as well, that then when I start doing fan art, it just kind of competes with time. And so yeah. even though I, I am in the midst of one right now and I'm doing it, but um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a weird state of mind. Us, us artists. <laughs> the more I stare at my screen, the more I want to go in and just add a little bit more. <laughs> I see Jason has just joined the video. Welcome, Jason. You can see what we were doing here. I think we're just about to wrap up, but this was just purely <laughs> experimental where I worked on the top half, Ray worked on the bottom half, and we just tried to make up a drawing that sort of filled the entire phone frame. So goofy it's fun just a way to sit and chat and draw and uh oh here we go show and tell time show and tell so here we got a cover prelim prelim from uh paul Pellet pelletier or pelletier i don't know how how much pronunciation to put into that yeah, that looks but, really um, cool though yeah so we got superman 
There's Cyborg, Wonder Woman. It's really sketchy, but yeah, it's much more involved than anything you get, you know, when you just ask for a sketch at a convention. Right. Yeah. That's super like cool. this. This is the Adam Hughes sketch that took two minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still pretty cool, though, that you've got that. I mean, yeah, I, I really want to start looking into original art, but I feel like I've gotten into it at the wrong time to where now everybody wants it. And people, you know, the prices are, are the prices reflect that. So, yeah. Oh, thanks, Jason. Jason, so can you see the comments, Ray, when you're on? Yeah, your I'm just curious. Okay. I see Jason says uh, that it looks good. So appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still learning how this Instagram live thing works. So. <laughs> so those were uh, Ryan Sook uh, Superman sketches. Yeah. I do have a... Um... Better Batman. Ooh. Mike McCone Batman. <laughs> oh, that looks sweet. <laughs> Was that a commission, or did you find that on eBay? That one actually was a commission. Yeah, I asked okay. him for it. Um, I don't remember what he charged, but yeah, he did it at the convention. That's cool. And Joker from Mike Perkins. Oh, that can't cool. fit into the screen, but it's pretty cool. That does look really cool. <laughs> I have a, um, and I'm not sure where it's at at the moment. I know it's around here somewhere, but um, I, I actually have a top, like a Todd Knox sticky note. You know, he does those oh, uh, yeah, yeah. characters that he shares online. I, I managed to, to nab one of those. It was a Kitty Pride on a sticky note, and it looks really, really cool. That's awesome. Look at that Batman. That's just awesome. All right. Well, should, should we sit here and stare at Batman a little more, or should we wrap I it mean, up? I mean, just, just for a little up? while? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll just stare in silence at what we have created. <laughs> Okay, we can sign off. It's fine. All right. I, I, this was fun. Thanks, man. It I was. You, uh, taking the time to come in and try this. So we'll uh, yeah, figure you. out what to do for the next one and uh, and go for it. But yeah, this was fun. I want to do more of these. Yeah. Excellent. All righty. To, to everybody who's in the, the feed watching right now, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we're going to sign off and uh, keep an eye on our Instagram. Maybe we will uh, try this again. Ray, what's your Instagram in case anybody wants to follow you? Oh, that's a really good question. That would be the username, right? Yes. We've established that I've used this once. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gavin, how you doing? RC Robinson underscore art. There you go. Yeah, I put you on the spot there. Because I, I, I couldn't remember it either. <laughs> all right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you all next time. Bye. See if I can figure out how to end this now. Let's see. Doop.